Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our 2022 Year 7 to 9 Senior School Speech Day. Or good morning if you're watching it live on YouTube and um, back in the UK or somewhere else in the world. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Please can I remind you, we are still under our protocols. So for those families who are seated, if you can kindly keep your masks on for the duration of the speech day. Please stand for our national anthem. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Abdullah to the stage. Good morning, headmistress, teachers, parents, and fellow pupils. Thank you for being here with us today to share this special occasion. It is a pleasure and an honor to be standing here today to deliver this speech. Speech Day truly marks the end of the year, a year when we can recommence the trips, assemblies, and community events. Reptin al Basha is a new name, but built on a strong academic foundation with all teachers and pupils, all coming together from different backgrounds, hoping to create a special place to learn. As everybody knows, the key to, the key to success in anything in life is having strong foundations to build upon. I'm sure you will all agree that everyone here at Reptin Al Basha is very fortunate to have been given the opportunity to develop some incredibly strong foundations which will stand in us great stead for our journey in life. These foundations have been created through the tireless dedications of our teachers, being immersed in the spirit of the school and by embracing the concept of teamwork. Whether it was on the sports field, through drama, music, or camp, or any of other countless opportunities that have been presented to us, we as a year group embraced the challenge and rose to the occasion. Mudirat al Madrasa al Fadila, al Muallimin wal Muallimat al Fadil, Auliya al Amur al Quran, Zumalai al Talaba, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ashkarakum ala hadurukum ma'ana liyum, lil Musharaka fi hadi al Munasab al Khasa. In Nahu al Mindawari, Ashkarakum ala hadurukum. معنا اليوم للمشاركة في هذه المناسبة الخاصة سروري وشرف لي أن أقف أمامكم اليوم لإلقاء هذه الكلمة, الكلمة ونحن نودع عاما دراسيا كان حافلا ومليئا بالرحلات والأنشطة والفعاليات المجتمعية ربتنا البرشا هو اسم جديد ولكنه مبني على أسس أكاديمية قوية حيث يجتمع جميع المعلمين والطلبة من ثقافات مختلفة لبناء مكان خاص للعملية التعليمية وكما يعلم الجميع فإن مفتاح النجاح لأي أمر في الحياة هو وجود أسس قوية وراسخة شكرا للاستماع وأتمنى لكم إجازة سعيدة
Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Mr. Fox, and it gives me great pleasure to announce the new Repton Albasha Scholars for the academic year 2022-2023. Um, if I could invite the, invite the scholars up to, up to the stage, that would be fantastic. Um, so we have for an academic scholarships, Zyra. Zyra here today. Also for an academic scholarship is Jana. For an innovation scholarship, Alexander. For a sports scholarship, Sydney. For the creative arts, Uma. And also a creative arts scholar, Ivy. All the children here are wearing their Repton Albasha scholarship new, new ties for the next academic year. Would you like to give them a round of applause once again? Good afternoon. I'm delighted to announce the Attainment and Attitude to Learning Awards in the Senior School. Starting with mathematics. For excellent attainment in mathematics in Year 7, we have Kezia. For Attitude to Learning in mathematics in Year 7, we have Naba. Excellent attainment in maths in year eight, we have Will. For attitude to learning in maths in year eight, we have Zyra. For any students who are not here, they are watching from home, so I will be announcing the prizes. For excellent attainment in maths in year nine, the award goes to Hamza. For attitude to learning in maths in year nine, we have Audrey. Moving on to English. For excellent attainment in English in year seven, the award goes to Kezia. The Attitude to Learning Award in English in year seven goes to Hasib. For excellent attainment in English in year eight, the award goes to Will. Thank you. Up. <laughs> Up again, Will. <laughs> Just come in and miss your award. For excellent attainment in English, well done. <laughs> For attitude to learning in English in year eight, we have Bruno, who's watching from home. <laughs> For 
for excellent attainment in English in year nine is Ryan. <laughs> Moving on to science. In year seven for excellent attainment in science is Kezia. The Attitude to Learning in Science Award goes to NABBA. <laughs> Excellent Attainment in Science in Year 8. The award goes to Sasha. The Attitude to Learning Award in Science goes to Bruno. In Year 9, for excellent attainment in science, the award goes to Adam. And for excellent attitude to learning in science, the award goes to Abdullah. In Humanities, the Attainment Award goes to Kezia. <laughs> Continuing in Year 7, the Attitude to Learning Award in Humanities goes to Ariana. In Year 8, for excellent attainment in Humanities, the award goes to Will. The Attitude to Learning Award for Humanities in Year 8 goes to Izzy. In Year 9, the Attitude to Learning in Humanities Award goes to Martin. Moving on to PE. The award for excellent attainment in PE in year seven goes to Sydney. The Attitude to Learning Award in PE in year seven goes to Hasib. In year eight, the award for excellent attainment in PE goes to Izzy. <laughs> Izzy's just made her way back into the You've got another award, Izzy. Excellent attainment in PE. In year nine, for excellent attainment in PE, the award goes to Audrey. The Attitude to Learning Award in PE in year nine goes to Jane. In computing, in year seven, for excellent attainment, the award goes to Tiger Lily. The Attitude to Learning Award in Computing in year seven goes to Poppy. Excellent attainment in computing in year eight, the award goes to Sasha. <laughs> the 
The Attitude to Learning Award in Computing goes to Will. In Year 9, the Attitude to Learning Award in Computing goes to Abdullah. In Creative Arts, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Uma. The Attitude to Learning Award in Creative Arts in Year 7 goes to Tiger Lily. In Year 8, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Creative Arts goes to Zyra. The Attitude to Learning Award, Creative Arts in Year 8, goes to Arabella. For Excellent Attainment in Creative Arts in Year 9, the award goes to Ruby. And the Attitude to Learning in Creative Arts Award in Year 9 goes to Abdullah. In Arabic A, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Latifa. The Award for Excellent Attainment in Arabic A in Year 8 goes to Jana. In Year 9, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Arabic A goes to Abdullah. In Arabic B, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Kezia. The Attitude to Learning in Arabic B Award in Year 7 goes to Poppy. The Award for Excellent Attainment in Arabic B in Year 8 goes to Sasha. The Attitude to Learning Award in Arabic B in Year 8 goes to Will. In Islamic A, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Omar. The Attitude to Learning in Islamic A Award in Year 7 goes to Latifa. For Excellent Attainment in Islamic A in Year 8, the award goes to Jana. The Attitude to Learning Award in Islamic A in Year 8 goes to Malik.
And the Attitude to Learning Award in Islamic A in year nine goes to Abdullah. In Islamic B, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Aisha. The Attitude to Learning Award in Islamic B in Year 7 goes to Naba. In year eight, the award for excellent attainment in Islamic B goes to Ali. The Attitude to Learning Award in Islamic B in year eight goes to Zaira. The Attitude to Learning in Islamic B Award in Year 9 goes to Sabu. In Moral, Social and Cultural Studies, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Uma. The Attitude to Learning Award in MSc in Year 7 goes to Liam. For Excellent Attainment in MSc in Year 8, the award goes to Will. The Attitude to Learning in MSc Award in Year 8 goes to Adve. The Attitude to Learning in MSc in Year 9 Award goes to Abdullah. In Modern Foreign Languages, the Award for Excellent Attainment in Year 7 goes to Ivy. The Attitude to Learning Award in Modern Foreign Languages in Year 7 goes to Dolly. The Attitude to Learning in Modern Foreign Languages Award in Year 8 goes to Ali. In Year 9, the Attitude to Learning Award in Modern Foreign Languages goes to Ruby. Those are Attainment and Attitude to Learning Prizes. I'm delighted to introduce Will Urquhart in Year 8. Good afternoon. Today I'll be playing Shark Soup. Thank you. 
Thank you. It is my great privilege now, now to read, to out, read the out the Repton Values Awards for pupils in years seven, eight, and nine. Our senior school values are to be academic, kind, and responsible. Our students adopt a growth mindset and are determined to try their best. They mainly <coughs> they maintain courtesy in their interactions and show self-awareness. The following three students have shown remarkable commitment to these values and we are extremely proud of them. In year seven, this student embraces every opportunity that comes her way. She shows humility and actively listens to those around her. She is confident, mature, and a remarkable young woman. The Repton Values Award for Year 7 goes to Alicia. In year eight, this student showed resilience and grit when he joined us partway through the year. He quickly adapted to a new learning environment and always tries his best. He has a great sense of humor and will go out of his way to support those around him. The Repton Values Award for year eight goes to Advey. In year nine, this student works diligently in all of her lessons. She faces challenges with determination and works brilliantly in a team. Her characteristics stand her in excellent stead for her future GCSE study. The Repton Values Award for year nine goes to Arushi. Thank you, all those pupils receiving the Repton Values Awards. Round of applause, thank you. I will now introduce Kezia in year seven. Thank you. Hello, I am Kezia in year seven, and today I will be playing Pantalon.
Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to announce this year's Senior School House Cup winner. Congratulations to everybody. You have amassed an amazing amount of house points over the academic year. I'm going to announce the results in reverse order. In sixth place, we have Davies House. In joint fourth place, Thomas and Merriman. In joint second, Brewster and Theobald. I think you might have worked out that this year's winner is Jackson House. <laughs> I would like to invite Ruby, Sabu and Abdullah to the stage to receive the cup from Mrs Woolley. Congratulations. Over the last few years, many people have asked me the question, what is it like to be the head of Fullmark? Or latterly, what is it like to be the head of Repton Albasha? Well, it's like having the hopes and aspirations of all of the parents in your school on your shoulders. It's trying to remember all 840 student names made so much more difficult by the wearing of masks. It's having the best parking space reserved for me on campus every single day. It's watching 10 performances of the Foundation School Christmas Show 23 class assemblies and eating three festive lunches in one day. It's like being the mum who hasn't got time to do the grocery shop. So, yes, it's beans on toast again, kids. It's being followed around spinnies by a child from year one who is curious about what's in my basket is always having a smile at the door every morning, even when the day ahead looks rocky. It's standing, supporting the school rugby team at the weekend, and I still have absolutely no idea what a try is. It's having my heart stop every time the fire alarm sounds, knowing that I am responsible for every single person on this site every day. It's having to know everything about everyone every time someone asks me. It's not sleeping when the students are at camp until they are all safely back and reunited with their families. It's being prepared for every eventuality when I walk into school every morning. No two days have ever been the same. It's being the font of all knowledge, from knowing the composition of the fabric in the school dresses to the length of the waterline around the school perimeter to the standardised score of a Year 7 child. It's been an accountant, an HR manager, a counsellor, a recruiter, a strategist, and a negotiator, when actually what I trained for was to be a teacher. 
To me, though, the question is not what being the head of a school is like. It's so much more than that. Being the head of Repton Albasha means something. It means I get to play a significant role in the lives of the next generation of innovators, of explorers, of leaders. It means that I have been privileged to work within an aspirational nation that values education and constantly inspires us to be visionaries. It means that I have worked with an outstanding team of teaching practitioners and support staff. And here I will take the opportunity to thank those members of the team whose dedication this year has again been completely focused and tireless. Today we say goodbye and good luck to our leaving staff. Some leave us to relocate back to home countries, some to settle into family life, and some to take up promoted positions in different schools. I would like to thank you all for your contribution to the school as you now move on to your next chapter. I would like to ask you all to join with me as we thank those members of staff who are leaving. I would also like to thank the Board of Governors for their support during what has been an extraordinary time in education. Our pedagogical foundation has been tested over the last three years as we re reassessed what is really important in schools. The unified and unwavering backing of the team at EKI throughout this time has been very much appreciated. When I first arrived at Fullmark seven years ago, I expected only to stay a couple of months before returning back to Repton, Dubai. But there is something special about this school. There is a sense of loyalty, of identity, and of belonging. Needless to say, I remained here at Fullmark and I am very proud to have been the headmistress to lead the school through becoming an Apple Distinguished School, to open the pool, new sports pitches and dining halls, to plan the extension first into year eight and then through now to A-levels. The name change to Repton Albasha has aligned us with our sister schools and allowed us to promote our heritage. I have felt the positivity of the parent body, so thank you. Your strength has supported me through many decisions. As the head of Repton Albasha, I have been privileged to have been part of a very special community. We are all members of the Repton Albasha community, and that means something. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Woolley. And therein concludes our Senior School Speech Day. I do have a few thank yous that I'd like to announce now to uh, Mrs. Altaha and Ms. Brown for all your input into the musical performances today, as well as those pupils involved.
um, to Lensman, our media team, and also our facility staff today for setting up the hall and running with the production, especially the live stream. Also to our senior school staff, our heads of department, and uh, Mrs. and Miswa, our head of senior school. Thank you. <laughs> Parents for coming and attending today and supporting your children so well as they move throughout the senior school, as well as any parents watching from home. And last but not least, and more importantly, the wonderful students today, both watching and receiving awards and being part of our senior school. Thank you. There will now be an opportunity for parents to have photographs um, with their children, as well as um, say their thank yous. There are some further refreshments in the main reception, so please do enjoy the rest of your afternoon and have a wonderful summer when it arrives. Thank you.